What's hand y'all? It's a star in charge, Star Life E, back outside, back in the trenches yet again. And y'all see who we got with us, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself, gang. Roscoe G, get that nigga. To the glass, my body, I the crap. Okay, okay. So we got gang outside right now. You feel me? They brought me to the trenches, man. Tell these people where we at. Where we at right now? On Sugar Hill, with you heard? Me on Naughty Land, gangster. Down here, that's Naughty Land down here. You heard? What a bro. We fucking naughty lane, you heard, gangsta. Real shit. That part, that part. So, shit, just kind of break down to us. How was it growing up here as, you feel me? A little kid, a little child, growing up in these streets and shit. For me, bro, shit. I when I was fake, when I was younger, gangsta, I was playing basketball and shit, you know, feel me? This shit, this shit wasn't like, we didn't really have it bad growing up type shit, bro. Like, niggas be saying, like, feel me? Like, of course we had a struggle, feel me? We been through shit, all of that. But, like, I ain't, like, life could have played out way different. In mad different way. Our mama did right. We just chose this shit, you know? Feel me? But, or we, feel me, trying to focus on music now, feel me? This shit getting played out, bro. It's nothing but death or jail here, you know? So, or, bro. Can you so, how do y'all feel like the streets was an influence on y'all lives growing up? Um, this shit, like, being outside, be, being outside, like, seeing people outside and shit, seeing the older home bros outside, shit make you want to come outside, it's bitches outside, it's mad shit outside to do. So once we start coming outside, feel me, we started coming outside from, like, 6 to 12, then it turned from coming outside from 6 to 6. Now we just outside every day, feel me, chilling with each other, it's just mad shit, bro. Hobby. Okay, so made this shit a hobby. I feel, I feel. So, what was it that you feel like kind of got y'all in that in the street life? Like, was it a certain situation that happened, or like, what like what was it that got y'all into it? Nah, I, I wouldn't say it's a certain certain situation that happens, but it's things that happen that made me like, like fuck it, like I just want to be outside, like I'm on that. Yeah, it's shit like that, that really happened, gangster. That made you, I don't know. Kind of forced me into this shit, but it's shit that for me made me like, nah, bro, I, I just want to be on that for me. Gangsta, like, I don't, I don't care what nobody telling me, Spe especially me and bro, gangsta, bro. Like, I don't even got to say too much, bro. Gangsta, bro. Niggas know when they see us, though, word. <laughs> oh, mamas, oh, mamas. So, everyone wants to know, is it really active out here? Like, do it really go down like they say they do, or is it? Yo, when my son D said, he said, I'm from the part of the town where it go down. <laughs> Keep it up, low down, yeah, damn, I'm so good. Nah, gangsta, bro, it, it, get, it get real scary out here, bro. You could Speaking about the devil, my son. D, yeah, gangsta, look, you could, you could be talking to your mans on the phone one minute, feel me? Next 10 minutes, your mans could be gone forever, you can't ever speak to him again, bro. This shit really real, bro, you gotta cherish your time out here, bro. Everybody got a date, bro. Just make the best of it, feel me? Word. How do y'all deal with, like, when y'all partners pass away from some street shit or, like, when y'all partners get locked up? How do y'all deal with that mentally and shit? I ain't gonna lie. I don't know. I don't know. I just turned to a tweak, gangster. Turned to, I lost my cousin, my, my real, I ain't, it was like my blooder. I should just turn to a tweak. How was it for you trying to get over that, you feel me? And push through? Pills, man. Pills. Perks. Gangsta. What about you? For me, my first... For me, my first loss, I was 13. My man's had, for me, I was in school playing ball and shit with. My son died in a car crash type shit, you heard? For me, that shit, when when you first lose somebody, it make you want to do dumb shit. For me, it be mad emotions going through your head and shit, feel me? But you just got to stay composed and stick to the course, bro. You're going to be good. Do it. For me, just dedicate everything to them. Or, Facts. Can y'all share to us like maybe one crazy story or like one funny story that happened out here? Without saying too much, you feel me? Just yeah, get. I can say a funny story. You feel me? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't gonna lie. We got wild funny stories, but one funny shit that we do like when we in a group all together. You see, like when the store closed type shit, it got the gates down type shit. Yeah. It got the gate. Like you could kick it and it make a loud, loud ass noise. Like a gunshot, gangster. So look, look, we be with bitches and niggas and shit. Like the whole group, we be deep outside. Just walking past, I be like, 
Who that? Who that in that V? Niggas start looking. Just kick, kick that, that shit. <laughs> niggas start running. You really see niggas' true colors, bro. Yeah, gangsta bro. fuck. <laughs> niggas be scared. You got them spooked. Nah, gangsta. Another funny story. I ain't gonna lie. It was this one time. We was out from... It was this one time we was out from like seven to seven, gangsta. It's the morning. We we on B way. It's some it's some niggas, bro. And my son Roscoe just playing with them. It's some old niggas, and then they really just start running from us. Like like really though, like the nigga left his bitch and started running. <laughs> Try to get on that at first. He tried to. I ain't. Hey, you know, feel me. I'm not gonna say too much, but niggas showed them it was Bobby. Yeah, niggas, niggas start panicking. I ain't gonna lie, niggas start chasing them and shit. That was a funny story too, gang. It's mad shit we could talk about, but feel me? Not trying to incriminate ourselves. Of course not, of course not. So, uh, have y'all ever experienced like shit, any like police brutality where the boys is just fucking with y'all or fucking with someone y'all, man? Hey, bro, every day, bro. The dirty 30, bro. That shit is really real, bro. The man. Big 40 to. Yo, bro. Gangsta, bro. Niggas. Word. My son, me and my son D, bro, on the floor. That, this shit nasty, bro. The cops, bro. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Not all cops is bad. Cause we got some cops from our shit that fake a drive past and they, bro, won't fuck with us. Like, live, probably do some shit. But work. But some cops, bro, you gotta watch out. But them niggas will probably try to kill you, bro. Some real shit. How's it for y'all dealing with that? Cause you feel me? The police supposed to serve and protect niggas and y'all trying to make sure they don't kill y'all. So you feel me? How y'all, how's it for dealing with that? <laughs> Shit, I don't, I don't really fuck with them like gangster. Like I don't be fucking with them. Like these niggas will be fucking with them, so that that give them a reason to do something. So you stay out the way. I just be chilling with them, cause they really hate. Well, he only do that cause they just be on his dick. Like word to like he could be standing outside. They just come. They could see he don't got nothing. And they still come arise him. Gangster, that shit weird. Gangster. I feel that, I feel that. So, who really started this drill scene out here? Because everyone want to say they the king of the Bronx. Everyone want to say drill started here. They started drill. We talking about Harlem? We talking about Harlem. All right, my son, my son Dot. Ainsley, he was the first nigga to, feel me, blow up off a drill song. And the youngest nigga, to be honest. I'm going to keep it a buck. Who started Bronx drill? Shai K. Who started Harlem drill? Ida. They both started at the same time. <laughs> He dropped shooter get shot, my son dropped ready for war. Mm. That's how it went. Everybody copied the wave. Mm. How y'all feel when people don't give y'all y'all credit for starting it when they be like, oh nah, he like you just said Edot. What the credit to be honest, bro. I don't care. We don't really care about none of that shit, bro. Niggas, what am my mother niggas, niggas know who got it right now, niggas know who started it. Yeah, bro, with my dad, like every yeah, every one of my niggas is going up, bro. Gangster, my son, D they just mad niggas, bro. Feel me? We don't be thinking about that shit, bro. We just, when we at the, we gonna see niggas at the top. That's it, man. Top artists know who started, bro. <laughs> Gang, so. Facts, facts. So, how y'all feel about the music scene right now in uh, New York? Begging for features and shit, bro. Oh, they was, they was out begging for features in the DM? I ain't gonna say too much, but. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, how y'all feel about the music scene right now in New York? Like, all together, collectively, like, with the talent that's being put out? And like, stuff. feel me? We fake both this New York back to life, but like, exactly. for me, this shit, this shit could get crazy. Like, niggas could really go out over a song, bro, over this, bro. And some niggas, bro, I ain't gonna lie, that cap rapping shit is no good, bro. Like, if you doing that over here, we not jacking you. I don't know how niggas be jacking niggas like that, bro. So we not jacking that. Gangster. You can't, you can't just come out the blue making a drill song thinking you gonna blow, thinking, man, you never did nothing. Gangster. So, what's like one positive thing and one negative thing that came out this street life for y'all? One positive thing is, I, for me, if it focus me up, so for me, I think like, it's not good to grow up fast, but like if it show me like it's more to life than this shit word, bro. Like if it made me street smart, I know how to move around places and shit like that. If I've been in this shit since like 12, 12 or two, I would have like I would have been I would have been rich, gangster. My dad, <laughs> word of bro, I would have been rich. I know I'd have been rich, gangster. Uh, negative thing though is that just like. Like losing friends, getting locked up, watching your moms cry when you locked up, seeing your mom have to see you lose your friend or your family, have to see you grieving and shit like that. That's the whack shit. For the bro, I ain't 
to me, I don't, niggas don't even be sleeping at night, bro. Gangsta, bro. Shit just be, shit be crazy out here, gang. Or, I ain't gonna lie, we took some losses, bro. Gangsta. But we got wins, though, on the bros. Don't let that go over your fucking melon, you heard? Death or death. So how y'all feel about, uh, can y'all, can I hit that? Y'all just passing? Go ahead and, uh... But uh, wh how y'all feel about uh, diss songs and shit when you hear your name in diss songs or when y'all release diss songs? Um, wait, I ask you a question again, gang? I said, how y'all feel when like diss songs come out? Diss like tracks? diss tracks, like people was speaking on y'all, got y'all name or shit, y'all put it out. How y'all feel about it? I don't care, nigga. If, if you mentioning my name in your song, man, that mean I mean something to you. I'm obviously doing something good that you got to say something about me. If I'm saying my, your name in my song, nigga, you could suck my dick straight like that. Shit. Real shit, gangsta. Like shit. You when you hear your, when your name in songs, or you feel me when you put out this? Nah, niggas be sucking broke dick. I ain't gonna lie, niggas be sucking broke dick. Just pay that shit no mind. Obviously, I wasn't rapping before niggas was mentioning me. I started rapping when niggas started mentioning me. And look what's right. first song, 300k, my own fucking page. Mm. Gangsta. That's facts, that's facts. How was it for y'all uh, dropping y'all song and hitting them? Yeah, just hit a mail. We Boom, and that, yeah. Just hit a mail, what up, bro? So I was, a lot of niggas don't got a mail, bro. Where to my mother, bro? And we hit that shit for bro, too, gangsta. So, how was it feeling when that, when that uh, song first hit a mail as quick as it did? Feel me? We was all in the, I think everybody was at the crib. We was go, we do was go hit a bell. When we was in the studio, we was talking about it like, yo, bro, this shit gonna hit a mail, bro. Everybody knew that shit. We knew that shit was gonna hit a mail, gangster. And we made that song the day at bro funeral. That song was like it was just J Star and Didi. It was a whole open, like a whole open. But Didi and J Star was supposed to go back. They went back to the studio there, their bro funeral, finished their line, then die hopped on it. He done hopped on it, I hopped on it, he hopped on it. We just went crazy, gangsta. And we shot video the same day. Oh, y'all was working. Gangsta. We shot video the same day. And that shit hit a mail in a month. One month. We knew that shit was gonna happen. Gangsta. So, can you kind of explain what's the meaning behind the song? Meaning. Name of it. Title say everything. Title say everything. So, really, listen, every, every one of us got a line about bro. Mm -hmm. In the song, feel me? That song really about bro, gangster. Um, I feel that. How was it for y'all dealing with the passing of him? I was with bro. I was, yeah, I don't, niggas don't really like talking about that, but I was with bro the day before. Like, he shot a whole music video. Shot a whole music video. Everybody, we came from gangster. And bro said out. Bro said out all day. Gangster. Oh, shit. That's one thing I was saying, like, for me, bro was young. Like, that's what I'm saying, like, some, growing up too fast. So, bro, it's just a lot of shit. Bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro is really out, outside in these streets, but that was my, yeah. Gangsta. Depending on more than a lot of these old niggas, gangsta. It's really outside. Personally with me, bro, gangsta. Gangsta. Bro, bro living through us, bro, gangsta. And my son Didi gonna fulfill his destiny, gangsta. My son Didi. Where the bro, Didi, Didi, Nadi, just them three. Those is the only three. Those is the only three little niggas from my block, bro. Young niggas that we really jack. They was outside. Didi, I'm my. That's really my twin right there, gangsta. We got the same birthday. That's my heart. Those my sons. Bro. I love them niggas, gangsta. I feel it. So, uh, what y'all got planned in the future? What songs y'all got coming out that we should be in store for? Any project? Any videos? We just dropped a, 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 a fucking a audio. Boston Uders, gangster, out on all platforms. I'm about to drop a tape. I got two vids on the way. Bro got a vid on the way for me. We drop gangster. Too. I'm about to drop EP. I ain't go crazy. We gonna go to the stool after this shit. Lock in for me. And where can uh, we find you on your social medias? Roscoe G. F no, no, I'm bugging. Roscoe from the O. F R M D A O. Gangster. Duty low. D U D E Y L O. You heard? Gangster. That car, make sure you're tapping with gang and we out. Cut, cut. <laughs> I could get a nigga poppin'. Hashtag new bitch, wet old bitch. You can have that. Blue bills from a bad bitch with a big ass. Imagine that.
I can get a nigga poppin'. Hashtag new bitch, wet old bitch, you can have that. Blue bills from a bad bitch with a big ass. Imagine that. I can get a nigga poppin' if you pay me. No free shit, we count the money on the daily. One